Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today it's a beautiful day and I have, I have even pressure washed the tiles here a garden walkway thank you um, but as you can see the robot is upside down and that's because it has once again um, it's teasing me uh, I took the battery out it's because I had it apart this morning it kept stopping and it just said goodbye and at that point it helped if I took it up it uh, it will feel that it had been picked up and I could kind of pick it up and sh maybe shake it a little bit and it would turn off then I took everything apart and I um, well checked all the connectors and stuff and put everything back together and it ran really well for a long time and then it got stuck down in the g back of the garden and then it was down there and just said goodbye and then I was not able to shut it off again and I couldn't restart it or anything like that so yeah I had to take the battery out so I'm gonna be improving the battery a little bit I need an on off switch so in the basement let's go to the basement we have the battery out there uh, yeah this is of course the battery and this is the box uh, where the battery sits in and um, I, this only this part is is you can kind of see that from the bottom of we have to turn the the robot upside down but then you have access to this panel which is a very nice and thick piece of plastic and i wanted to put this switch in here this one it's all plastic some really hot stuff so i wanted to put that through the plastic here so that i would um, with a screwdriver be able to to switch this over maybe maybe just sticking up enough uh, out the back here so that I can maybe with a nail press it forth and back I don't want it to be able to to um, well shut on and off by itself if something hits the bottom of the robot I don't want it to turn off because of that but we're gonna see if we can do that also I have no way of checking the voltage on this so I was thinking about when I have to mount this anyway I could put a screw through here and a screw through there and have two screw holes coming out here and I could mount something metal to those so that I could measure on each of the screws which voltage there were on the batteries and maybe I could even emergency charge it if something had gone wrong so that's the general idea so um, we're gonna try that so I needed to um, I needed to be sitting somewhere like there just like that I, I've checked um, oh we can see the writing on this 6 amp 125 volt AC 6 amps 250 volts AC mm, I think we're fine so let's see where we can put it if we put this in the middle and kind of put this in the middle of the box I think I will be able to put some marks in it down there there and I can drill some holes for that so my good cousin Peter came and gave me this box which is kind of cool it's a box full of drill bits uh, so we need a drill bit that will fit this so what size could that be this one could be pretty perfect what about that one that one is just too small or uh, big that was just too big so Let's go for this one. That would be a 3.5 millimeter. Yeah, it's, it's not great to drill holes in this, I'm sure, but... Uh, there. Okay, so well, that's not especially straight. And we need to drill some holes for this as well. Um, so where does it go to? Hmm. There. Yeah. 
We're getting there. So, this is not the filing I normally do. But I need it to be big enough for this switch to go in, hit the hold and be able to go into both positions. I think we're just about there. So I found some screws that will do it. Um, I want some that goes a little bit out because I want to be able to connect some crocodile leads to them if I need to do that. And something like that. Maybe I'll cut some of this off. Uh, file. Do a bit of a filing job on that. But otherwise, that's not too bad. And then I need something to go on here so I can solder some wires to it. Ooh, we'll figure that out. Put a little bit of electric tape on here. And when I'm just gonna push the screws through that, uh, when I find. Uh, yeah, they, they actually come from the other side. So I might need to make just a tiny little hole in the tape where the screws go through. There. Cool. So I do collect all kind of weird stuff um, for electronics. I've been desoldering stuff for years and years and years. And I need something to go over those screws. And I think these might be, um, they might do the job. Uh, I can make that hole bigger. And I can have these screws go through there. Um, I'm gonna try that. I might have to cut some of this off for them to um, to go down here because there is not a lot of space there either way. Uh, that's that's a bit of a problem. We'll see how that goes. That went smoothly. Not as much. So for maintaining this, it would it will still be helpful if I'm able to pull the battery out. Uh, so I'm gonna take this, which is the, the connection box that sits in here, and I'm gonna mount that down here, and I'm gonna take one of the leads that comes off that, and we're gonna pull that through the switch. Okay, there. So I have to decide which lead to bring through there, and it just has to be one of them. So, um, which one is longest? The negative one is longest, so we're gonna take that one. So this switch down here it works this way that in uh, one of the positions, there are a connection between. Uh, this roll, these two are connected together uh, and in one position they will connect with these two and if you put it over in the other connection these two will be connected with these two. So as I'm doing the black one we're, we're just gonna take the black lead and we're gonna kind of just put it in there and we're gonna take it off over there. Um, you'll see what I mean. Uh, we're just gonna let that go down there. We're gonna cut that. There it goes. And we're gonna uninsulate that for some amount of. There. That wasn't quite enough. And I'm gonna solder them on these two, which should give me the maximum um, usage out of this switch. So, yeah. And we are gonna solder it as far down as possible because I'm hoping to cut off some of those legs that are pretty tall. Ow, that was too hard. This wire is for the temperature sensing. So the other one we're gonna put on there. I'm just gonna do the same thing. This is terrible, but it, um, I hope it works. <laughs> it looks terrible. I have the switch 
uh, have connected the, the ground wire, the blue one, to these two connections, and then it goes out through these two connections. And then when it when it's when I connect that, well, I also have ground over here, which is that pin. And then I have taken the the positive lead here, and I put that over through the other pin, which is that one. So when when it's connected, I should be able to measure voltage on those two, which means that I can turn the robot upside down, measure voltage, and maybe put on a couple of crocodile pinkies here and do something with it. So um, so far so good. I'm gonna put some tape over this and get on with it. So now we look like this. Uh, should we just check that there isn't connectivity between the two plus and minus? That would be a bad thing to connect that and we have scooch something up. It's not beeping, that's a good thing. Probably miss it there. Yeah, that's we're fine. So let's put the battery back in. It, it's gonna be a little bit it's it's gonna be sitting on that switch, which is why I've insulated it. This one goes to the minus, this one oh this is gonna work out perfectly. I'm gonna put this together. There we are. I think we are about done. We can put this back on. Mm. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I hope these are not getting too hot. Hmm. All these. Yeah, it, the robot lawnmower is really... Uh, that, that, that's a problem. We need some more tape down there. It's not really pulling many amps. It's, it's a low amperage machine. But um, yeah, this could get hot. But I don't think it gets... It would have burned this or melted or done something, and it hasn't. Okay, so let's find out if my stupid switch works. Let's clamp these in here. We have 25.84 volts. Now we have nothing. 25.84 volts. Nothing. I think that's good. Okay, cool. It sticks out just a little bit. I think I might be able to um, to take the top off. Mm. Okay, I better admit it. I just I was I'm, I'm a stupid idiot. Uh, I fucked it up already. The battery hasn't even left the table, and already I've ruined it. But let's let me just admit and show you what I did, how I fucked this up. So, um, yeah. As I told you, this is kind of too high. So what did Morton think? He thought that, well, we will just take a hacksaw and we will remove the, the top of this so that it will be flush. What happens when you reach those two and you haven't turned this off? When you get a little sparkling thingy, which uh, I thought, oh, that's not good. So I turned it off and I kept sawing a little bit. And then I thought, well, let's just check if this still works. And the good thing, uh, you can see the multimeter. The good thing is that there is still power on this. The bad thing is um, now the switch doesn't work anymore. So um, yeah, I screwed this up totally. That's ah, that sucks. Uh, that's why I usually buy two of each when I when I'm gonna do a project like this. I usually get like. Um, if I'm gonna do connectors, well, I buy a whole bag of connectors and yeah, because I screw up just as much as everyone else. Oh, this is irritating. I'm gonna mount this and I'm gonna order a new switch for the, I'm gonna order two new switches for the bloody thing. Um, hope I can find something that is compatible with this. Maybe I should just do a measurement and make sure how long there is between those. That's about... Is that three centimeters? I think it's 30 millimeters between those two. So, um, oh, bloody hell. Oh, I guess I'll have to. Uh, I can probably short circuit the, those two connections with a, 
a resistor or something, just enough to have it uh, the computer lose power here. There. Here you go. Go away. Yeah, I screwed that one up, but I'm gonna go and see if I can find a switch like that and order a couple of those. We can see the little menace here, see if he is doing a good job. Yeah, it kind of is. When it's running, it, it's okay, but when it's not running, it's not as fun. So, um, yeah. Oh, by the way, I am um, I'm taking the first vacation in five years. So in August, there's not gonna be any videos from me. Uh, I did say this sometime last year, um, at about the same time where I told you guys that I was, um, I was cutting down from three videos a week to two videos a week, but I'm also taking the month of August off. So um, yeah, just, just a reminder, I don't want anyone to not know about that. So um, I am, um, taking the first vacation in five years in august so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day from mr screw up bye bye okay i guess we weren't done because i was just looking at switches here uh, on my computer finding some that i wanted to buy i actually found them on um, on ebay as well but then it became damn quiet out here and i thought well, I better go see how the robot is doing. So it's uh, down here in the bottom of the garden. Do, 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 do. It, it just stopped right there. So um, I, I went down here and I, I checked it out. And I can power it on. So I'm just gonna punch in my coat. In the meanwhile, you can see my hammock is over there. It's uh, where I enjoy a lot of um, watching over the lawnmower. So um, it's it's now ready. And if I put my hand in under it and touch the switch down here, it went out. So the switch has fixed itself. So I'm gonna turn it on again and we're gonna power it on again. there so let's go do some work cool it fixed itself